اعوذ باللہ من الشیطان الرجیم بسم اللہ الرحمن الرحیم رب شرح لی صدری ویسر لی امری وحلل اقتتم من لسانی یفقہ قولی رب یسر ولا تعسر وتمم بالخیر آمین یا رب العالمین In this lecture, we will study the use of murakkab jari or prepositional phrase in Jumla Ismiya. In the previous lecture, we studied the use of murakkab ishari, murakkab tawsifi, and murakkab izafi in Jumla Ismiya. We reached the following conclusions. We concluded that murakkab ishari or demonstrative phrase can be used as mubtada in Jumla Ismiya. and it cannot be used as khabar in jumla ismiya there are however rare exceptions to this rule murakkab tawsifi can be used both as mubtada and it can also be used as khabar in jumla ismiya similarly murakkab izafi can be used as mubtada and it can also be used as khabar in jumla ismiya We briefly mentioned that murakkab jari involves the use of harf jar since we are dealing with harf then the concept of definite versus indefinite is not applicable directly in this case however murakkab jari or prepositional phrase can be used in jumla ismiya in this lecture we will study how murakkab jari can be used in jumla ismiya Here we have a simple structure of Jumla Ismiya. Jumla Ismiya is comprised of two parts, Mubtada and Khabar. Mubtada is definite and marfu and Khabar is indefinite and marfu. An example of Jumla Ismiya is Zaidun Jalisun. Zaid is sitting. Let us take Zaidun Jalisun and see if we can add some more information to this jumla ismiya for example we can add fil masjidi zaidun jalisun plus fil masjidi so fil masjidi is the additional information that is being added to jumla ismiya if we pay further attention to fil masjidi We will realize that fil masjidi or in the masjid actually fits in very well with the jumla ismiya that is zaidun jalisun and taken together zaidun jalisun fil masjidi can be translated to zaid is sitting in the masjid so by itself zaidun jalisun meant zaid is sitting and zaidun jalisun fil masjidi can be translated as zaid is sitting in the masjid so the additional of fil masjidi or additional information fits in well with the original jumla ismiya if we pay further attention to fil masjidi we will realize that fil masjidi is a murakkab jari or prepositional phrase we have harf jar that is followed by an ism that is majroor But what is fil masjidi or how is fil masjidi being used here it is not used as mubtada because we already have a mubtada and it is also not being used as khabar in this case because we already have a khabar which is jalisun fil masjidi is the additional information about khabar so in this example murakkab jari fil masjidi is giving us additional information about the khabar the grammatical terminology for this additional information is mutallik bil khabar or we can simply call it mutallik this is the additional information about khabar in the case of jumla ismiya to summarize murakkab jari or prepositional phrase can be used in jumla ismiya and it is typically used in the form of mutallik or additional information and typically this is additional information about khabar in jumla ismiya to recap we have the example of 
Zaidun Jalison, which is a Jumla Ismia. Zaidun is Mubtada. Jalison is Khabar. We are using a Murakkab Jari Fil Masjidi in this Jumla Ismia. Fil Masjidi in this Jumla Ismia is playing the role of Mutallik or additional information. Fil Masjidi is providing us additional information about the Khabar. Zaidun Jalison means Zaid is sitting. Where is he sitting? In the Masjid. So, Fil Masjidi is giving us more information about the Khabar. This is how Murakkab Jari is used in Jumla Ismiya. In Jumla Ismiya, Murakkab Jari plays the role of Mutallik. In other words, it provides additional information about Khabar. Let us look at some examples to understand the concept of mutallik or additional information. As-salatu khayrun minan naumi. Salah is better than sleep. In this example, as-salatu meets the criteria for mubtada. It is marfu and it is definite in capacity. Khayrun meets criteria for khabar. Minan naumi, which can be translated to then sleep. Minan naumi is a murakkab jari. We have a harfi jar and that is followed by an ism that is majroor. Minan naumi plays the role of mutallik or additional information. And it gives us additional information about the khabar, which is khairun. Hua naimun fil baiti. He is sleeping in the house. Hua is mubtada. Naimun is khabar. By itself, hua naimun means he is sleeping. But we have additional information about the khabar in the form of fil baiti. Fil baiti means in the house. Fil baiti is also a murakkab jari and it plays the role of Mutallik or additional information about the khabar. Ana maujudun fissuqi. I am present in the marketplace. Fissuqi means in the marketplace. Ana is mubtada. Maujudun is khabar. And fissuqi, which is a murakkab jari, plays the role of mutallik or additional information. Now we will study a very important concept. Sometimes in Jumla Ismiya, which involves additional information or mutalik, the khabar is hidden. So in the example such as this one, where we have a Jumla Ismiya, which has mubtada, khabar, and mutalik or additional information, in such a Jumla Ismiya, sometimes the khabar is hidden. Please note that this rule is applicable as long as the meaning of the jumla or the meaning of the sentence is not lost. Let us look at a couple of examples. The first example that we have is Zaidun Jalisun Fil Masjidi. Zaid is sitting in the masjid. In this example, Zaidun is Mubtada, Jalisun is Khabar, and Fil Masjidi is additional information or Mutallik. Now, let us assume that we are going to hide the Khabar. If we hide the Khabar from this Jumla Ismiya, we will be left with Zaidun Fil Masjidi. So, from Zaidun Jalisun Fil Masjidi, we are removing the Khabar, which is Jalisun, and we are left with Zaidun Fil Masjidi. In this case, Zaidun is Mubtada, Fil Masjidi is the additional information or Mutallik, and the meaning is still not lost. Zaid is in the Masjid. Zaid is sitting in the Masjid becomes Zaid is in the Masjid. So, this is a case where 
we can take a jumla ismiya which involves mutallik or additional information and hide the khabar and the meaning of the jumla or the sentence still makes sense now let us look at another example aswalatu khairun minan naumi salah is better than sleep aswalatu is mubtada khairun is khabar and minan naumi is mutallik or additional information now let us try to hide the khabar from this jumla ismiya if we remove the khabar or if we hide the khabar we are going to be left with a statement like this aswalatu minan naumi sala then sleep this statement has lost its meaning so in this case in the example of aswalatu khairun minan naumi hiding the khabar will make aswalatu khairun minan naumi lose its meaning therefore the rule of hiding the khabar is not applicable in this example however in the case of zaidun jalisun fil masjidi hiding the khabar jalisun still does not affect or compromise the overall meaning of the sentence let us look at some examples of jumla ismiya involving mutallik where the khabar is hidden in this table we have examples of jumla ismiya with mutallik or additional information about khabar where the khabar is hidden for example alhamdulillah all praise is for allah subhanahu wa taala alhamdulillah is a jumla ismiya in the case of alhamdulillah alhamdu is mubtada khabar is hidden and lillah is mutallik or additional information please note that lillah is a murakkab jari it has lam jara followed by ism allah that is majrur ana fil masjidi i am in the masjid ana is mubtada khabar is hidden fil masjidi is murakkab jari which is being used as mutallik or additional information i am in the masjid the khabar can be hidden because it doesn't matter if i am sitting in the masjid walking in the masjid standing in the masjid ana fil masjidi by itself is sufficient to convey i am in the masjid therefore we necessarily do not always need to mention the khabar in such examples nahnu fi dunya again the khabar is hidden we are in the dunya or we are in the world nahnu is mubtada khabar is hidden fi dunya is murakkab jari which is being used as mutallik we are in the dunya here we are not mentioning the khabar so we are not saying we are living in the dunya we are walking in the dunya we are just saying we are in the dunya nahnu fi dunya nahnu fil fasli we are in the classroom khabar is hidden in this case al qalamu ala al maktabi the pen is on the table ala al maktabi is murakkab jari it is being used as mutallik or additional information al qalamu is mubtada and the khabar is hidden al qalamu fil jaybi the pen is in the pocket al qalamu fi jaybi the pen is in my pocket once again the khabar is hidden now we will learn about a new terminology we will take the example of zaidun jalisun fil masjidi this jumla ismiya 
has the following components mubtada khabar and additional information or mutalliq which is additional information about the khabar if we were to hide the khabar we will have zaidun fil masjidi in this case the additional information or the mutalliq is taking the place of the khabar it is taking the place of the khabar but if we pay attention to fil masjidi it does not meet the requirement of khabar it is not marfu the rule of definite or indefinite does not apply here so grammatically it is not the khabar but it takes the place of the khabar therefore we can conclude that grammatically the mutalliq or additional information that replaces the khabar is not the same as khabar grammatically speaking but it performs the job of the khabar it still plays the role of the khabar therefore it can also be called as the acting khabar as an example how we have the president and then we have the acting president so if the president is not there the acting president will perform the same job or the same role as the president same is the case with mutalliq or additional information it is grammatically not the khabar but it replaces the khabar and it will play the role of khabar in jumla ismia let us do some practice al quranu hidayatun lin nasi the quran is guidance for all humanity in this jumla ismia al quranu is mubtada hidayatun is khabar and lin nasi is additional information or mutalliq it gives us additional information about the khabar the quran is guidance and the addition of lin nasi provides us additional information about that guidance the quran is guidance for all humanity hazal kitabu hudan lil muttaqina this book is guidance for the god fearing hazal kitabu is mubtada this is actually a demonstrative phrase or murakkab e ishari that is being used as mubtada in this jumla ismia hudan is khabar lil muttaqina is additional information or mutalliq lil muttaqina is a murakkab e jari please recall how lil muttaqina is written lil muttaqina is actually lam e jara plus al muttaqina but when we are writing it together we will not write the hamzatul wasl al jannatu lil muttaqina janna is for the god fearing in this example lil muttaqina is additional information or mutalliq and the khabar is missing or the khabar is hidden so lil muttaqina is the acting khabar al jannatu is mubtada jahannam lil kafirina hell is for the disbelievers jahannam is mubtada please note that we are not saying jahannamun we are saying jahannam and if we recall we studied jahannam as an example of a ghair munsarif ism therefore we will not say jahannam we will say jahannam lil kafirina this is murakkab jari that is being used as additional information or mutalliq and the khabar is missing so lil kafirina is the acting khabar al haya'u min al imani al haya'u is mubtada min al imani is murakkab jari that is being used as additional information or mutalliq the khabar is hidden so min al imani is the 
एक्टिंग खबर हया इज फ्रॉम ईमान और मॉडेस्टी इज अ पार्ट ऑफ फेथ Finally we will summarize the use of murakkab nakis in jumla ismiya murakkab ishari murakkab ishari or demonstrative phrase can be used as mubtada in jumla ismiya and it cannot be used as khabar in jumla ismiya with rare exceptions to this rule an example of murakkab ishari used as mubtada in jumla ismiya is hazal babu maftuhun Hazal Babu is the murakkab ishari Hazal Babu maftuhun this door is open murakkab tawsifi or descriptive phrase can be used both as mubtada and as khabar al waladus salihu jalisun here al waladus salihu is being used as mubtada and zaidun waladun salihun waladun salihun is the murakkab tawsifi which is being used as khabar murakkab izafi murakkab izafi or possessive phrase can also be used both as mubtada and as khabar nasrullah qareebun nasrullah is the murakkab izafi which means the help of allah subhanahu wa taala in this case Nasrullah is being used as mubtada in jumla ismiya. Haza kitabu Zaidin. Kitabu Zaidin is the murakkab izafi which is being used as khabar. In the case of murakkab jari or prepositional phrase, in jumla ismiya murakkab jari plays the role of mutallik or additional information. it provides additional information about the khabar and we studied the example of zaidun jalisun fil masjidi zaid is sitting in the masjid additionally if the meaning of the sentence is not lost sometimes the khabar is kept hidden in such cases the mutallik plays the role of the khabar and it can be called the acting khabar for example zaidun fil masjidi in this example the khabar is hidden and the translation is zaid is in the masjid subhanak allahumma wa bihamdika ashhadu an la ilaha illa anta astaghfiruka wa atubu ilaika